PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Great to see you here again today. Hey, what's Pete going on about today? Well, you go and grab your plasma torch and the bloody thing won't start. Now, before you go and pull your plasma cutter machine to bits and then you pull your torch to bits, I've got a quick little hack for you just to make sure that it is your torch. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day, Pete at PeachTools.com and I'll show you this little tip. So guys, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but you're minding your own business and your plasma cutting away. And this guy's happening. Can be really, really frustrating. And then you think automatically that it's your machine. See, I pull my trigger here like so. And then it'll just stop. And I've still got my trigger pulled in like that. And then if you give it a belt or something like this. See, there you go. So then you start cutting again and it stops. And it gets right up your nose. So you give it another belt. There you go. And it stops again. There, it's cutting out all the time. And boy, does that wind you up. Well, it winds me up anyway. So before you go and pull your plasma cut into bits, because you think that's buggered, just check that your uh, consumables are all good. Uh, check that your swirl ring's okay like that. And check that you haven't burned out your consumables. I've actually got another video on swirl rings and ceramics, so check in the description below and you can check that one out as well. Uh, it just goes into a little bit more in depth than what I'm doing here. So we'll figure out that this is alright. So the first and most obvious thing you need to do, guys, is make sure that this switch plug here is in properly. See how that wasn't in properly? And make sure that it's done up. Half the time I just leave it loose and it um, doesn't do any good at all. So we've still got nothing guys, maybe if I give it a felt, there you go, it's going. Stopped. There you go. Stopped again. See, it's, it's not doing bugger all. So my theory is it's got to be the switch. So I'll show you a quick hack and we'll see if it is the switch or not. So with these cheap Chinese plasma cutters, now the only thing that lets them down really is the switches and the torches, well I think so anyway, mind you I use mine quite a lot. So what you need to do to check it is just take out the switch plug like so. Remember I only do this with low voltage, like this is a low voltage machine. And grab your torch like so and don't even bother pushing in the trigger. Get a flat bladed screwdriver big enough to go between the two prongs and just short it out. See that? That's going there. Off. On. So let's build it. It's on all the time. See that, guys? Can you hear that? It's not cutting out. So what that tells us, guys, is there's a, either a break between this plug and the switch here, or it's the switch itself. And nine times out of ten, unless you're clumsy like me and run over these things with your truck or whatever, then it's the switch. And I'll show you why. Now normally with this model of PT31 torch, they're not too bad guys, because these switches are quite grunty. Uh, same goes for most of the other generic torches. The later model ones seem to be getting better and better. But if you've got an early model one, like an SG51, say for example like this, or the earlier model of the PT31 like this, and there's even an earlier model than this, but I just don't have one. So if we see the switch on this one, guys, this is a newer model, PT31. Um, we have a micro switch like this, which is quite solid, see that? It's quite grunty. And they hardly ever burn out at all, unless you use it, use it, use it like I do, or you run over the thing and you break it. But like I say, the trouble with these torches here is the switches are really crappy. Take them out like so. So if you look in there, there's very little meat on this um, circuit board here and it doesn't take much to fry that at all. And sooner or later you're going to burn out a switch. 
But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of your torch. Depends how cheap you are. If you're cheap like me, you'll make it work. And then like we have the SG51 torch, which is even worse with the switches like that. See, this has got a switch in it like this. Once again, it's got bugger all on the circuit board there. It's very, very light. See that? It's a very, very light switch. They seem to have moved on to heavier switches as they've gone along. But if you've got an older model torch like this, you're going to have a switch like this. And chances are it's going to crap out sooner or later. So don't go pulling your whole machine to bits and then you find out that it's just a bloody switch on your torch. So because these things are low voltage switches guys, I'll just use one of these. It's just like a TIG switch. And it's quite grunty like the first one I showed you. If we pull it out like that, you can actually see that it's grunty. And it's designed to take a bit of a hammering rather than the switch like this which is really, really light. So all I would do is grab a TIG switch like that and they're worth nothing. I think you can get two of them for about four or five bucks. And they come in a little trigger thing like this. Like so. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So all I would do if this switch here is buggered, just grab your little new switch, put it whichever way you want, whether you want it up this way, or you want it up the other way. If you put it up that way, it's going to be a pain in the ass because you're going to have to run the wires back through the torch. So what I would do is just put it this way. Like I say, these are cheap. You know, a couple of bucks, you can get your old torch up and running again. And then just use a couple of these plastic zip ties that you can get from anywhere, guys. Just feed one through the top. Notice on these switches here, it has three different places where you can put your zip tie there. So you can either go right up the top or down the, or right down the bottom. So I'll put one up the top and then one down the bottom. Just like so, wrap them around. I mean, it doesn't look the prettiest, but it'll get you going again, and it'll be cheap. And Pete loves cheap. I'll put this one right at the back, guys, so it holds it steady. Like I say, you can use any sort of switch because it's low voltage, but I wouldn't muck around because the time you'd muck around and try and put another sort of switch on there, you know, you wasted half a day. We can just go and grab one of these cheap bloody things and just do it. And it's got the little things where it just holds it like that. See, that? That's, that's pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. It's pretty cool. On, off, on, off. And away you go. Grab your cutters and snip off the excess. There you have it. One quick little fix. And with your wires here, guys, it's just like I said before, it's just low voltage. So all you have to do here, you don't even have to solder it. All I would do would be just bear off the wires. So here we have the wires from our original switch here. So just cut them off. Just bear these off, join them up, wrap some tape around them, wrap the tape around the whole bloody lot, and away you go. I mean, it'll work fine for months and months and months, unless you run over it or something like I would do, and break it and have to start all over again. So guys, your plasma torch is spluttering, just check that little thing out before you go and pull your machine to bits, like I said, because there's nothing worse than you're trying to cut and the thing goes bleh, and stops and starts and it gets, gets right up your nose, or it gets up my nose anyway. Anyway guys, that's about it for this time. Same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And remember, just because your switch is dead doesn't mean it's the end of your torch. Remember to come say hi to me at PeteTools.com, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. And don't forget, guys, like and subscribe to Pete's Tools. Yeah! PeteTools.com.